Hello viewers, this video shows how to make a footed baby pants. I am using a size L t-shirt which I got from the Dollar Tree. To make footy pants for my 6 month old baby, L size t-shirt is good enough. I am using my baby's pant for the pattern. The t-shirt is inside out so that the right sides are together which is easy to sew directly. Using the pant as a guide, simply mark around the pant. A seam allowance of half an inch can be left but since the pant I am using here is of correct size so I am not leaving any additional seam allowances and I haven't removed the M of the t-shirt since it avoids curling of the fabric so it would be easy to make the pattern however I will be removing the M's while attaching the footies. Now flip the pant vertically and trace it similarly on the other side. The edges of the pant can also be pinned to hold it in place while tracing. Seam elements of 1 inch must be added at the waist for waistband. Now for the footies pattern, I am using my baby shoe to trace it. You can also trace your baby's foot and add a seam elements. I will be adding some seam elements around the tracing later. Now we have the sole. I am measuring the sole and marking above of half of the sole part. So marking it on either side of the sole and join it with the curve. Now I am just tracing it again to make the sole pattern. Now we have the sole and the top part. Edges of the top part curve can be marked on the sole so that it would be easy while attaching the footies to the leg. I am using the top part's curve to mark the edges of the curve at the front of the leg. Transfer the sole and the top part pattern onto the t-shirt. The t-shirt is still inside out and we need two sole and two top parts for making footies. Cut out the pattern. I'll be cutting the t-shirt M and the front leg curve later. And see the scrot seams. Also cut the sole out and top part of the foot is with right sides together sew the crotch seams now I'm sewing the back crotch seam with just a zigzag stitch but serger can also be used now I'm sewing the front crotch seam with a zigzag stitch I am also making a straight stitch along the zigzag stitch to avoid curling of the fabric. You can also pin the cross seams before sewing which helps to hold the fabric together. Now I am cutting the M of the t-shirt. And the front leg curve can also be cut. Open up the pattern. Now I am attaching the footers of one leg in one method and other leg in another method. In the first method, I am attaching the top part curve to the front leg curve. Pin the curves together. The edges will match up when stretched. I am not comfortable in using the pin so I am skipping that part. Just attach with the edges match each other. 
This is the attached top part. Now I am attaching the sole to the top part of the footing, starting from the outer edge of the curve to the front of the top part with front of the sole and joining back of the sole to the back of leg. Stretch the foot is while sewing so that the edges match up. Starting from the inside seam of the bottom of leg, so till the cross seam. Now curving around the crotch and continue sewing the inside seam of the other leg. For attaching foot is on this leg, I am using the other method. In this method, I will sew the foot is separately and then attach it to the leg. To make foot is, attach the sole front with the top part front. Now, turn the foot is right side out and insert into the leg such that the right sides are together. And the curve matches exactly. Stretch the fabric and pin the edges so that the edges of the curve match and back of sole matches with the back of the leg. Now start sewing from the edge of the curve to the all the way around. This is how the attached footies look. I think I am comfortable with the second method. Whichever method is easy we can follow it. Now to sew an elastic casing, fold the, the elastic band so that the elastic casing is bigger than the width of the elastic. Sew all the way around. Be sure to open, leave an opening to feed your elastic through. I am using my baby's pan to measure waist. You can also wrap an elastic around your baby's waist and cut the elastic to the point where it is not too tight. Insert the elastic through the elastic casing. And sew the edges together with a zigzag stretch. Now finish the casing. This here is the footed baby pants. Thank you.